Well, the Texas Health Care Association says Bell County's long term care facilities cannot get enough Medicaid funding to keep good nurses, and we found out today some don't even take Medicaid. Yeah, but what's the answer now? Channel 6's Andrew Moore spoke to us the association today about the issue and Andrew, what did they tell you? Guys, the association says Texas needs to match funds in order to get Medicaid funding, and they simply don't match enough right now. But we found out not only do some facilities not keep enough employees, some have stopped accepting Medicaid altogether. We would have to pay much less um, our hourly rate because the Medicaid rates are, are much less. Tony Jeter doesn't accept Medicaid at Mercy House in Temple. The home cares for patients with Alzheimer's disease, and he needs to have enough employees per patient to provide good care. We try to have more staff for residents. Some long-term facilities still take Medicaid, of course, but Jeter says it causes other problems, too. And they will hire all their people, and they pay the rate they need to pay, which is generally pretty close to minimum wage, um, and they churn. Churn means they lose employees to better paying jobs. Jeter wants to keep his people. But while the industry is trying to figure out how to keep up, they are about to see even more people who need care. There is a tsunami coming of people with memory care unless they miraculously cure it. The Texas Healthcare Association says the number of seniors in the state will double by 2030. So they are pushing for changes in the Texas legislature. Director of Government Relations Scott Kibbe says there are potential solutions to fill this gap. If you can look at, we had a bill last session uh, that passed the House and almost passed the Senate that would have uh, done this by bringing down federal funds. But that doesn't mean the current Medicaid rate can stay the same. Kibbe says they've seen no increase in four years. The, the bill last session would have raised it an extra $18 a day on average. The gap right now is about $27. A day. And until something does change, Jeter says the need will go unmet. There's not a week that goes by that somebody doesn't call that's looking for a Medicaid facility. The association also told us the state's Medicaid rate falls almost $10,000 short of the cost of care per Medicaid resident every year. We'll have to wait until the next legislative, legislative session to see changes. Chris?